Welcome to Chapek, welcome to Le Locle. We are in the Chapek Atelier. This is where all the watches get born, assembled, and then even shipped to you worldwide. And I'm going to introduce you to the newborns, the watches that we are going to present in Watches and Wonder. You might find that my voice is a bit strange. This is normal. I had an accident two months ago. I hope it will be soon recovered. Also, you can see that I don't wear gloves, but I wear these uh, pink fingers. This is the way to work on, on watches. And the last thing is the look, not anymore a suit, not anymore a tie. This is the look we have in an atelier. Let's start now with the only one that is complete, which is the Rattrapante. So that's the second edition of the Rattrapante. And this edition has been made with sapphire subdials and a sapphire ring. So that becomes the ice blue Rattrapante edition. Why did we do a second edition of the Rattrapante? Because we ran out of the first one in less than an hour. So we had to please and answer the requests we were coming from everywhere in the globe to get this Rattrapante that is really a first time in the watch history because it's showing all the components of the chronograph and of the split second all together in an open work movement. Also, what makes that second edition quite unique, because every brother and sister in the family have to be unique sibling, is the use of sapphire, this time for subdials and ring. Now, there were two challenges to overcome when creating this eye blue model. The first one was the mirroring effect that you get with the sapphire when you taint it in blue. So the sapphire is slightly light blue and the mirroring effect was becoming very visible at the beginning. So we had to rework with Econorm, who is our Swiss partner for everything that goes around sapphire treatment, anti-reflective treatment, coloring, metallization. Everything is made by, by, by them. And we work different type of recipes. I mean, this is atomic level, so recipes with atomic level is, is complex. The second challenge is very logical, is fragility. It's very easy to break up, especially this large ring, and uh, have the feet forcing on the system when you assemble or disassemble it. So we found a way to maintain it as structurally strong by loosening up some of the feet. So one feet is very strong and the other two are just guiding. The use of the sapphire is really for transparency. You reveal even more of the open work concept of the Rattrapante. This is the first open work Rattrapante ever made. This is the first time everyone can see uh, the heart of a, chronog of a chronograph and all the mechanism of a chronograph and of a split second chronograph. And that's why it's so interesting to use the sapphire as rings and as subdials, because you suddenly reveal everything. So now that we've seen the Rattrapante Ice Blue Edition, let's have a look to today's newborns the Antarctic S. This is the year 2022. And in 2022, what we will remember from that year is shortage. Shortage of supply, shortage of everything. Well, we have a severe shortage while we are filming, which is we have no straps and no bracelet to show you. So we're going to make this presentation the best way we can. And we'll make the effort to imagine the rest of the watch. Actually, if you feel frustrated, come to Geneva to see it or go to your Chapek dealer wherever he is closest to you. Now let's look first at the size difference. Okay, you can see very clearly how small the Antarctic S is, is 38.5 millimeter. But this two millimeter makes a huge difference. Huge difference in the look, huge difference on the wrist. Also, huge difference when you look at the thinness of the model. We have lost the recess. That was the only concession we had to do to get to a smaller diameter. But when we look on the wrist, it's even slimmer and it fits the wrist perfectly. So today we will see two versions of the Antarctic S. One version, you know it already, it's called the Passage de Drake. So we keep having this very interesting geometrical design made of trapeze that are exchanging like waves. We call it the stairway to eternity because you could go on that stairway forever and never see the end. The stairway to eternity dial exists 
in different colors. For the launch, we only are going to reveal it in glacier blue and in salmon. Of course, the Antarctic S is powered by the same movement, the SXH5. This is a movement that we have created in 2019 and 20. And this is a simple movement brought to the extreme of watchmaking. This is a micro rotor with an open work. So you can see all the, all the wheels, you can see the gear train, you can see everything in that movement. This is a sort of a tribute to watchmaking for the revelation of the best techniques, the revelations of the best handcrafted uh, finishes and the revelation of a simple concept that is to have an automatic movement to power a, a watch without having ever to wind it. We strive to improve our movement so we keep evolving it year after year. Now let's look at the star of the collection and the star is called Frozen Star. You see a dial made of reflection and this is a metal, a crystallized metal. And this crystallized metal is called osmium. This is the rarest metal on Earth. It has the highest density. It's of the family, family of the platine metal. So it's a precious metal, which obviously has a very high value. But what we were seeking was not the extreme value. What we were seeking was the incredible look that you can create by creating a crystallization of that metal. Crystallization is very difficult. There are very few places in the world where uh, that can be done. One is in Geneva. Now, how to create crystallized osmium is very complex. I won't go into the detail. Just telling you, you need void atmosphere created in a bell, and that's all that I can reveal. Of course, there are some secrets that are well kept in watchmaking. So when we met the guy from Crystal Tech, Rolf, once again, it's a small company, an independent company like us. And we discovered the osmium from him. We fell in love with the look of that metal. When we speak about rarity, there are one ton, 400 kilos of osmium available in the world. That's it. It's very, very rare. And the reflection of the crystal is so unique. It's not gray, it's more a gray bluish, you know. That also makes the look so particular. And the idea of creating a dial out of it was born two years ago. In the meantime, we faced a lot of challenges, but now it's possible and it's a limited edition of only 33 pieces. Crystallized Osmium Frozen Star. So, if you're in Geneva, come to see us in Watches and Wonder or in the boutique. If you are the other side of the globe, well, thank you and for watching this video and enjoy following the story of Chapek. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.